The table element displays a table. Each table item has three text fields – title, meta and content, an image as well as a link with its text field. In the Settings tab, you can set a table header for each content field. Now let's take a look at the element settings. The table element has various style options. Choose between the default, divider or a striped table. Optionally, you can highlight the hovered row and remove its left and right padding. Also, you can choose the column order for the title, meta, content, image and link fields. Additionally, align the content in the table cells and set the padding between them. In this example, I have a different order and only two table headers. Also, you can set the width for the title, meta and content columns. Choose between a fixed width, shrink the width to fit its content or expand the width to fill the remaining space. If all columns have a fixed width, as in my case right now, the remaining space will be distributed equally among them. Now let's expand the content column. And since the meta column does not fit, let's set it to shrink. And finally, let's also set the title width to shrink. Next, you can choose the behavior of the table on small viewports. For example, if you set it to stacked, the table cells will be stacked on top of each other. But you can also enable the scroll overflow for the container. Of course, the table element has much more other settings. But since options for the different content fields are very similar across all elements, they are explained in the according headline, text, image, and button element documentation.